Greetings there, my fellow zombie survivors. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Nomad, Episode 12, Blockbuster. The VHS store should be just up here on the right. So that's the diner. This is the VHS store on my right here. Oh man, it looks overrun. Eat some jerky. Take some beta blockers and get ready to murder. How's my crowbar doing? Still half. Good. So for all of you new players, uh, the reason why I'm at a VHS store is certain videotapes that you watch will impart knowledge. So in the game, in the first week, there are TV shows that air that can give you skills by watching them. But uh, you can also get skills by watching the recorded tapes instead. In fact, you can get more XP from the recorded tapes because if you read the associated books before you uh, before you watch the tapes, you'll gain a bonus XP. So the meta, or the most efficient way to level up, uh, cooking, carpentry, auto mechanics, and survival skills, is to have read the books fully, and then watch the tapes. And the minute that you level up to the point where your read experience is no longer benefiting you, you stop the tapes, and then read the next book and then watch the, continue watching the tapes. So what I'm hoping to do here is to loot skill tapes, which is uh, cooking, woodworking, survival, car zone, and then a few others that are way more rare to find. And the, uh, the VHS store... Oh no, this isn't it. It's uh, one block up, or half a block up. Derp. It used to be before the tapes were introduced that you, it was called Couch Potato Meta. Where like, it was definitely incentivized that you would um, just sit in front of the couch and watch TV for the first week. Which felt bad and kind of dumb. And luckily they removed that as a, as the best way to play. So here's like Woodcraft 7. Um, there are seven Woodcrafts, so this is... Tape 7 of 7, and watching that would give me woodcraft skill. There's also a, some other stranger ones. Dead Wrong, Mother Boy, Z Squad, Season 2, Episode 3, uh, and then uh, some other stranger tapes that give in part XP as well. They're just less common. So here's Woodcraft 5, and Woodcraft gives you... Uh, oh, Carzone. Carzone 1. Good. Woodcraft gives you carpentry skill. Um, strangely, no. Craft one. So mostly carpentry so far, but that's fine. And all these other tapes are just for entertainment. For like, if you're bored, they don't ultimately really matter. I'll read off the other ones that give you XP. So OSC 92, Stock Cars, Granny Nanny, Nothvid, Number 9, Maldra AV Club, TV Repair, RMFA, Combat Wound Management, Grady V King, Tree planting guide, mathematical quadratic, or basic gun handling. I don't expect you'll like remember memorize that. Oh, so here's Mother's Boy. Oh, uh, there it is. Which gives you like stabbing XP. And then exposure survival, three. Um, the only dead wrong one that gives you XP is the original dead wrong, not any of the like sequels. There's a lot of sequels. And I think there's something bashing on the front door. Cook show. There we go. Car zone two. So I have two of the car zones. And that's really good. I was only expecting to find one of them. So that's awesome. 
Woodcraft 4. Survival 4. Uh, survival... S I think I already have that woodcraft. Uh, this is the Sea Squad that gives experience. Nice. I forget what it gives, like shooting or something. Six. Cook three. All right, I think that's everything. Might as well top up my water bottle. I'll check the, um, under the register. Sometimes there's tapes under there. Nope. Alright, I do believe I hit everything. Oh, um... Dead wrong mother's boy. Okay, I got that. Alright, let me let me mark them down now. So, I got car zone 1 and 2. Not car zone 3, but that's fine. Uh, survival 3, 4, 7. I already had survival 3, so let me drop that. So survival four and survival seven. Cook one, three, six. One, three, and six. And then woodcraft one, four, five, seven. One, four, five, seven. I have a, a checklist here. And then I also got Mother's Boy and Z Squad. So I did not get dead wrong. I just want to double check because coming back here is, you know, takes a bit. Yeah, so those dead wrongs that have season numbers are not the ones that give XP. It's just the original. I guess there's also a chance for there to be tapes in the, uh, in the TVs. And I, I could check the other one. Uh, this TV. Nope, no tape. Okay, yeah, we're good to go. Let's roll. Really good haul finding two of the car zones, two of three car zones. And then the carpentry tapes I found are going to be enough for me to level up to, like, carpentry six. Maybe even more, given the XP bonus that I have in this uh, server settings. Dang. I was only killing these guys because I saw they had leather jackets, but all their leather jackets are uh, torn to shreds. I'm going to try to bring a high-capacity storage tow. One of the reasons why I don't typically drive with the high capacity storage units is that it ruins the maneuverability of the vehicle uh, which can cause death I think it's probably better for me to just get a, um, a giant shipping container and strap that to the back of the truck and use that as storage so actually maybe I'm not gonna unless I find a generator I might not bother um, towing anything home Yeah, I, I, you, I've played without a multi-hit, but no multi-hit with sprinters is like suicide. Because if you can't hit multiple and they sprint at you, there's pretty much nothing the player can do short of have a gun with near-infinite ammo to survive. 
It's pretty disgusting. Uh, so while I drive home, what to do tomorrow night? Grab a shipping container with the truck. Level up skills. Um, scavenge for loot and a towable generator. I know where one is or viewer suggestions. You guys pick. So what do you guys think? I might actually, uh, if there's time, driving home, uh, grab the portable generator that I found in West Point. There might be time to grab that. Actually, there might even be time, if I'm fast, to grab that and the loot that I left in the hardware store. The, all of the canned goods, the weapons, the, uh, the three books tied to the library. The reason why I didn't have modified the vehicles, like scavenge for vehicle parts is, I'm gonna ruin the quality of the parts until my skill's a little bit higher. So I, in my opinion, it's best to wait until I have a reasonably high mechanics uh, skill installing the parts. And then I can uh, manufacture the parts from scratch given enough propane and scrap metal uh, with high enough metalworking skill. So I could also work to level up metalworking skill to actually make the parts from scratch and to design two crazily good apocalyptic vehicles, one Jeep and one Peterbilt truck. But if I can hammer out some other things on that list there, efficiently, that would be great. Yeah, I think multi-hit is better for, for the flow of combat as well. I agree with you there. If you really want a grueling challenge, you know, going single hit with sprinters, you know, fine. Like, that obviously would be the hardest way you could play this game. But I don't think it's satisfying. As a content creator, I do have to balance out what I think is challenging with what I think is entertaining. Because... A lot of games you can crank up the difficulty so high that it just stops being entertaining. Where you get nothing done, it's just a grind. It's like a kill grind, and Zomboid on kill grind is fun once, but it's not fun forever. So I have played, you know, Zomboid on like super high population, and it's like cool briefly, but then it gets old pretty quick. Because you spend the entire day just swinging smacking zombies around and either you get good at that or you die and once you're good at that it's all the same there's also a lot of exploits or or mechanics to allow you to deal with high volumes of, of zombies like fire where you get a vehicle with a siren you set the siren off in a high population area and then you just roast zombies with campfires until you've killed like 5,000. I've done that as well. It's sketchy, it's crazy, but uh, it does make clearing out a city of full of zombies simple. So it's almost 5 a.m. I think I'm gonna have time to try to get the generator towable and where is the generator? Is that? I think that's back home, right? It's not my trunk. Let me check the trunk real quick. No, it's not the trunk. Come on. Inside. 
Okay, so we're gonna be level working on skills for tomorrow. Got it. I like it. I think I should, given enough propane, I should be able to level up uh, metalwork pretty quickly, and then my mechanics is gonna shoot up like crazy with these new tapes that I just snagged. Is it possible to make a zombie free city? Um, depending on your server settings, yes. So the way that the game works on default is that zombies do respawn. If you think of the entire map as like blocked out like a chessboard, where each color, each black or white square of the chessboard is called a chunk, the way that Zomboid works is any chunk that has not, by default, any chunk that has not been visited within three days is viable to have zombies respawn in it. Right now with this server setting, zombies don't respawn, so it really depends on your server settings. But yes, it is entirely possible to clear out an entire city. Improbable, however, because sometimes zombies will get stuck inside and refuse to break their way out. But if you... But it's technically possible, it's just not likely to ever happen. Because you'll end up... You'll inevitably end up with, like, a zombie that is a crawler, so they can't climb over things, and they're, like, stuck on a second-story floor or something like that, where there's just no situation where you'd ever have... where that zombie would ever be able to, like, get, go and travel to the fire. Ooh, that guy has a fire axe embedded in his neck. I ought to take beta blockers. So I'm trying to grab this um, portable generator here, as that would be a pretty nice benefit to my camp. So you could, the way fireworks in Zomboid is, as people in chat have mentioned, because I know you asked if you could, like, set the whole town on fire because of the shrubs, everything in this game can catch fire, minus, like, terrain. So, yes, you could absolutely set an entire town on fire, as long as it wasn't scheduled to rain anytime soon. That That's the caveat, because rain does put out fires. So one method that you can use, and I've used this in the past, to clear out a large swath of a... Like, I, I use this to clear out the mall, is to lure all the zombies to a central point where you set them on fire, and then once enough zombies die, uh, leave the area, and only return to the area once it's raining. Because once you leave the area, the area kind of freezes in code, in memory, so that nothing, the fire isn't spreading anymore, it's just sort of in stasis. And then when you return to the area and it's raining, the fire gets put out. I already have wood axes and fire axes, that's why I didn't grab them. I don't need them. All right, how is my... Let me drop some stuff off. Now I'm just stopping in for some... some of the uh, stuff that I left behind here. Just... A lot of foods and tools. I didn't even make those spears. This obviously was a prepper house. Yeah, see, here's fire axes and spears and tools and food. That's why I wasn't worried about like whittling down my um, my supplies back at camp because I knew that I had stockpiled 
a considerable amount of it here. Granted, a lot of it's sugar. Oh, uh, yeah, we're, oh I don't have space for that. Sounds like I have, yep, some zombies. I'm really encumbered, so fighting kind of sucks when you're massively encumbered. Uh, no, don't transfer the corpse with that. Oh, do I still have more stuff? Yeah, I'm filling up the seats. That's why I need, like, a cargo rack for the roof, eventually. Right, let's take that rope off the zombie, and then I, I think I have most of the stuff, so I should be able to get it all before I have to leave. Azure Storm, thank you for not only being one of my newest subscribers, but now you're also subbing? Holy moly. And here are the books to complete my collection. Uh-oh. I have more stuff than I can hold. I thought I'd be close to having it all, but not yet. Alright, I am, uh, I'm gonna make a mental note that I still have more loot here to grab, because it's 8 a.m. and I need to get home before these zombies become unmanageably fast. But that's a hell of a haul. A generator, everything left in the, um, everything that's left, you know, in this car. The tapes. We got quite the mother load. You can't watch live for some reason? Man, that sucks. Is it buffering? Is it a bandwidth issue or is it uh, uh, like a region issue? Oh, shoot. And this is why I need armored cars because I drive horribly. I'm excited about that uh, generator, though. Those floodlights are functional. The generator still needs to be connected to the local grid, so you can't just turn on this generator and drive around. When you connect the generator, it like anchors to the ground, and you have to disconnect it before you can um, drive it around. But it is kind of nice to just drive up to an area, connect it, and then let's say I had a, I wanted to loot an auto mechanic shop, I could wire this generator up to the auto mechanic shop so I can turn on all the lights to the auto shop while looting it to make it just a lot more visible, a lot safer. Uh, so it's a good thing to, as long as I have cargo space in the vehicle I'm driving, it's a good thing to tow around, um, maybe, you know. Okay. So the current priority here is level up skills. I'm going to leave it vague here. Uh, I think the best bet at this point, given the amount of stuff that I just grabbed, is to just start piling it up in a, a pile. And then when, um, when I have the giant storage container from the truck, uh, I can load it all up into the truck. Neat and nice, like. Because this is just too much stuff. I'll, I'll, I'll keep the food and, and keep the books 
because they're kind of special, but everything else is just going to be dumped. And hopefully I'll get a big container for it soon. Oh, I already had a spare crowbar. So I have two full HP crowbars. It's kind of kind of ridiculous. Let's take a look. Inspecting the generator. So this generator has three battery chargers where it could charge three different batteries. Its tires are both performance tires, pretty good. Its gas tank is 15 out of 18. And I can connect it up. And then start it. And then also turn on the spotlights. So you can actually just tow around spotlights, which is uh, kind of neat. And keep the spotlights on, just drying from battery, I suspect. I'm also going to keep the tapes in the truck trunk because uh, I'm going to be using them today. Oh, I tainted the water. Well, I could always boil it. Actually, it might not be a terrible idea to boil the water uh, to add to the the. Um, The water storage that I have in the in the cabin or RV or whatever. And the rest of this, the rest of the stuff that's in the cabin here or in the back seat, is just going to go to that giant pile of random stuff. I don't need the generator running now, so let's turn that off. And disconnect. So all that driving and smacking into things, and my Jeep went down 2%. Uh, mostly the front two tires went down. Actually, the front right tire is really not in good condition, so I might want to look at the vehicles that are on the bridge for replacements, because it uh, it definitely definitely no no bueno. I'm starting a little trailer park, yeah. <laughs> Okay, everything's put away. A little beef jerky in the morning. Hope it's not ruining my weight. 82 and holding. Nice. So let's watch uh, the mechanics tape. So, car zone one. Uh, for me to be able to do that, I need to turn on the generator for this. Uh, Start engine. Gas tank has gas. Is that enough? No. Still no power source. I thought starting the engine was enough. I'm trying to find the, um... How to start this thing up. <laughs> Hmm. 
How did I do it before? Now I'm a little stumped. Hit you to the car? Yeah, I could hit you to the car. I don't think that's required, though. I might want to physically move it anyway, just because it's everything's get, starting to get piled up in 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 a pig pile here. But I do want to park this RV in a way that I can see the entry door, so I don't have to go searching for it if I want to get in quick or get in at all. Kentucky Camp Trailer. Well, I guess I could just pick up the TV and hook it to the generator and watch that way. Doesn't seem correct to me, though. I know there's a way to do it. I just... Just can't figure it out at the moment. Because, yeah, there's definitely a start engine here. Uh, it doesn't seem to just... Doesn't seem to be working. Unless, unless this generator just happens to be broken compared to the other ones. Alright, one thing I did want to do is to listen to the automated emergency frequency. Make sure that there's no... Uh, no surprises. Does it have a battery? Yeah, I think it has a battery. I don't think there's any missing parts, in other words. Oh, these books need to go. Go. And then I'm likely going to want the next mechanics book, because I think I'm going to probably be using that very soon. So I'll favorite that, stick that in. And then I have uh, cooking here as well. Oh, all right. Here's the weather report. I want to know if there's uh, choppers coming in, because I want to be inside if, if they do. I don't want to die. Oh man, looking at the time, I'm nearly out of it. Holy cow, that went quick. So quickly. Alright, sorry radio. Don't have time to be patient with you. Uh, let's just hook up the generator and, and grab this TV. I'll put the TV back once I'm done. I'm not going to bother tinkering with this thing. Trying to get it to work. I feel like the other one, um, the other trailer, I was able to just power up, but I could be wrong. All right, car zone. So here is the car zone VHS tape. And as soon as I ding to level four, I need to turn it off and then read the next book for the most bang for my buck out of the XP here. Off. 
not bad. Let me see if... Let me run over to the other uh, trailer. See if I can't just turn this on somehow. Where's the vehicle? Oops. Vehicle maintenance. Felt like it wasn't that hard one the first time I did it. So this one has a gas tank. It has gas in it. Standard gas tank. I enter it. And I hear the generator is on. Right? Because I could turn on the TV and the lights. I don't know what's different. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, cool. Well, I, don't, I didn't do it wrong. Just don't know how to do it right. No, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna swap back. I'll just try to figure out what's wrong in my uh, offline in my own time. It's my TV watching van. I know. Well, I, apparently I have a TV watching. Um, yeah, let's make it my TV watching van. I was gonna say apparently I have a. Uh, yeah, I got a generator on as well. This is so like slapped together. It's kind of wonderful. All right, let's see. Turn off. Okay, it's off now. And I'm gonna grab some shut eye. So we're we're working on skills. Oh, don't sleep on the ground. There's a bed here. My TV watching puddle. I commit to the puddle. Oh, there's a chopper. I wonder if the radio would have warned me about that. Let's see. So here is the top of the hour. See if the automated broadcast system warns me that uh, choppers are bound. Glad I was inside. I don't know what kind of chopper it is. Not all choppers are hostile with the expanded chopper mod. Some of them are, um, some of them just drop supplies like FEMA. Uh, some of them try to murder you like raiders. Some are going to try to help clear zombies out like uh, police or military choppers. Sometimes they also fire on you, too. You know, you look zombie-like. They don't expect people to be alive down here. So you gotta watch out. So, uh, heavy rain. Copy that. I could could have told you that. The emergency broadcast integrity. So I, I guess it didn't give me a, a chopper warning, but the broadcast integrity is okay. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get through the mechanics book so I get the most bang from my back out of the tapes. And I'm going to starve myself while doing it, because <clears throat> when you're hungry, I know the overlay is doubled up, so you can't really see it, but uh, hunger reduces your healing and strength, so it's not good to be hungry while you're fighting, but um, I'm not fighting, I'm just reading here, so. Might as well, you know, intermittent fasting diet is, I guess, what I'm on. Okay, mechanics is done. And it can X3. I want to eat something. Let's see. Mushroom soup. And chili. And I took the edge off. I could watch from the other camper. I think for now I'm just going to stand out in the rain. As odd as that seems. Because the tape's already in here. Okay, 
Okay, so that is that AutoZone tape, or whatever it is. Grab it, and I'll, I'll watch from the other one now, now that this one's finished up. So I'll put this TV back. Maybe I should get myself a nice flat screen for this thing, huh? <laughs> Car zone one, grab me car zone two. So in the training materials for home VHS, it should say, oh no, uh, here, uh, here's the fact that I watched car zone listed there. And level five. Okay, so I'm level five and a half from the two tapes. There's one more tape out there. Well, actually, there's um, there's a few rare tapes that will also give uh, give XP. Um, but I'm I'm not likely to easily find them, like the stock cars tape. I think gives uh vehicle maintenance as well, but it's far harder to come by. The mobile generators, I don't think, give power to the trailers. I don't think that's how they work. I wonder how I turned this thing on in the first place. I don't even know how to turn it off now. Um, you stove. Maybe it's a special seat that I have to be in. Oh, yeah, it is just start engine. I have no idea why I couldn't start the engine in the other one. I'll, I'll try it again. The same way I just did it. Maybe the engine's just... busted? Yeah, it might be that the engine's just busted and I can aim to repair it or something. No, the engine's not busted. 76%. And the gas tank has gas. So I, I don't know, it beats me. Beats me. But it's all good. I ended up uh, getting quite a bit of experience from that. And before I end the stream, I think I want to try to put the experience, or at least a little bit, to, to test. Wait, it sounds like it's on now. It's on now! I- oh, whatever. Whatever, I- I'm not- I'm not trying to make heads or tails of what's going on here. It's it's powered by magic, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it just makes a fool of me. That is the answer here. I think it's not making the, like, engine startup noise. And, um, th mm, whatever. So, if I wanted to try to fix the engine of the truck. Let me get some water. Uh, let's let's see what I need for that. I threatened it. Yeah. Exactly. So I'll need engine parts. So now that I have auto, uh, mechanics five, that allows me to do maintenance on engines. So if I mouse over the engine here, I can repair the engine with spare engine parts. Because the engine of this truck is... awful. Let me go over and look for spare engine parts. Because I've dismantled... No, that's scrap metal. No, it's all scrap metal. So I might need to go to next stream to go to... Um, a car place 
and grab spare engine parts to start doing engine maintenance. But there's actually one last thing that I wanted to do. Oh, there was a key here. To a step van. Ah, oh, maybe to this. Is the tires on the Jeep suck. But honestly, it looks like all the tires of the cars on this uh, bridge also probably suck. Yeah, they do. Maybe not that taxi. That taxi looks okay. Oh, yeah, this taxi is okay. Uh, I'll get a jack and lug wrench and take the tires for that taxi. Oh, there's also sprinters on the rail bridge that are coming for me. Noted. So plowing around a whole bunch of zombies with the jeep here, the armored jeep, works very, very well, but it does stress the tires. Now, there is such a thing as tire protection, where you can wrap chains around the tire, and somehow that protects the tire from damage. So I should also be on the lookout in the future for uh, chains, for tire chains, like snow chains. And there's the spare on the back. Uh, that I could use as well, but as my, I might as well not use that right now and just grab from the taxi. I don't. I think that sprinter lost interest in me. No, he's still coming. It is very creepy, having them fly at you like that. All right, there's the two tires. Their performance, that's awesome. And then the engine. Oh, I don't have any. Uh, let me let me just fix the carry weight here. I'm just about crippled. <clears throat> did that hurt? <laughs> it did a little. I'm I'm good. The smooth dismount. Oh, I'm gonna have to drop these tires because there's another sprinter coming in to try to eat my face. All right, come on. You done messed up, dude. So here's the old... And then the new ones. We should be closing in on 55%, 54%. So that's 1% uh, where I left off. So that's pretty, pretty good. Drive around, hit a whole lot of things, and only end up with 1% damage total is pretty awesome. There are some pieces here that need a little bit of repair, like the trunk, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, but that, that's really good. Uh, and I'm going to inflate these tires while I'm here with the tire pump that I don't have in my hand right now. And it seems to me like next stream is going to be a stream of lots of skill grinding, but also uh, some really cool vehicle mods going on the hunt for um, for armor and that kind of thing. Should be fun to have Armored up vehicle, scout vehicle, and armored up uh, long range vehicle. Provided the choppers don't try to murder me.
And the last thing I wanted to do is to exactly pimp my ride is to dump the stuff that was in that seat. Because that seat is full up. Oh, that looks armored. What the heck? Hang on, what? Do I have tire armor? No, it's just like a misrendering or something. I don't really know why it looks armored. Because it would be... Oh, no, maybe... Where is it? Protection for... For wheels. Okay, yeah. Uh, it's, it's just visual chains. It's not actual chains. Cosmetic defenses. <laughs> exactly. And that is where I am going to be leaving off, friends. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Nomad, which originally streamed live on Twitch July 12th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Stay safe out there in the zombie apocalypse.